Well, hello, Scotia. And uh, today we're in Bratislava, Slovakia. And uh, we're going to Tesco's. What else would you do in Bratislava but go to Tesco's? Well, that's what we did. So you can probably recognise the Tesco branding straight away as we walk in. And uh, this was this store was at one time a Kmart. Now, Kmart was at one point a very big US uh, chain. It was bought by the, the, what was then the Czechoslovak government. And uh, apparently for what was very successful, uh, a number of times set the whole Kmart record take-ins per store. So it was very successful. But anyway, it's so a Tesco's now. And you can see some of the sort of pot dessert type things here. I think is that uh, cheeses and maybe... Uh, this is a big thing in Slovakia, sort of dough pieces that you can then, I guess, take home and bake and make into bread loaves and that sort of thing, cut it off maybe into rolls and that sort of thing. I haven't seen that very many places, sort of chunks of dough that you can do whatever whatever you want. So Tesco mobile app, their branding, as you'd see in the UK, cheeses, I think, and uh, sort of yogurts and, and desserts as a chocolatey type of thing that I found there, I think, maybe a lemon one there on the right-hand side. And quite a... Quite a range of, of, uh, of things. Uh, this is eggs, I think. Yes, eggs. And uh, this is something I found quite strange. Little little quail's eggs. You don't see them in many UK, UK supermarkets, do you? But yeah, little quail's eggs. Obviously a thing. Uh, always beer. Always beer in the Central European uh, supermarket, isn't there? Cazelle there, which was very nice. Uh, sort of powders to put on meats uh, are here. And uh, there are lots of those. Now... In-store bakery is big, big thing in Slovakia, I found. And uh, one of the few places in the world, other than the UK, I've seen sort of baked savoury. So th they were very big on sort of ham and cheesy type thing in bread. I don't know what that is. That looks like onion, maybe. Uh, like a cylindrical thing there next to it with, with I think, cheese on the outside. But anyway, it's sort of savoury type thing. So you could, if you wanted a little snack, go into a supermarket like this and just, just get something like that and chomp away at it. Quite a very inexpensive lunch. I think there's like breads there with tomato and things on it. Quite different, but the, the, the in-store bakery is massive and, and seems to be a high proportion that you just went and helped yourself to rather than just have a, having a little shelf. Uh, now, if you saw my little video, uh, Slovakia video, you'd have seen, again, lots of brightly coloured um, donuts. I think there's a bit of, bit of a rip-off of Dunkin' Donuts there. The branding looked very similar. It wasn't Dunkin', but looked very, very similar. And then, what are we into now? I think this is like chilled cakes, cream cakes, that sort of thing and uh, then sort of packaged bread and then back to sort of loose bread so that's like cob type loaves like like circular like bool type loaves i think look very nice some sourdough there on the left hand side as i said in-store bakeries seem to be a big big thing in slovakia again more packaged bread there and uh moving on now to what are we going to so some more sort of grocery type items here i think uh I don't know what that was and then uh, okay, so this was this was strange. So it was like mini like hamper, so little gift, food gifts, M not particularly exotic food. There's some you saw some Mars celebrations there, so not particularly exotic. And I think then moving into soft drinks and then beers as well, all the, all sort of together. I think, I think that might be, I think that might be beer. Certainly that's beer, Cozel. I think I can notice there. Never a shortage of beer in a Central European supermarket. It was my experience there's some personal air call which is and it was some what did there this is this is strange because uh one of the few places where there is a sort of a a local version of cola lo a really popular cola drink it's there in the orange packaging uh, a lot of people had that although that's as you can see pepsi and coke widely available as well and what's that like lime coke zero where was it okay not seen that before and then and then uh, more more drinks i think maybe more soft drinks here lots in the chiller cabinet and uh, yeah, there's the water. Crisps, lots of crisps. Now, one of the brands in in the whole in this country was called Slovakia, simply Slovakia. Nice uh, Mars rack there. Now, Jaffa cake type biscuits seem to be very big in Slovakia. It's different, lots of different flavors. I think there was raspberry there, as well as the obvious uh, orange, and other biscuits. Cereal in bags rather than boxes. In fact, I think all, all of the cereal was in was in bags. Didn't see a box at all. Confectionery, lots of. Uh, Lots of choice of confection. I think uh, Slovakians have a sweet tooth. There's certainly lots of uh, choice of, of, of sweets everywhere you went, really. In every shop you went, there was massive amounts of sweets. That sort of uh, meat and fish spreads type things. Some really impressive Milka brand in there. Look at that. 
seem to be a lot of uh, milk. And, and Leo now had a few of these. Leo's sort of a the the milker version of Kit Kat, which is which is very nice actually. Not quite as dense as a Kit Kat, but uh, but very tasty. And then uh, more into the toiletry type things here. And again, there was lots of these. Now I think uh, this was all downstairs. I think the area which was Kmart uh, was upstairs as well. Uh, so Tesco just occupies the bottom. And some clothes, not many clothes, it was mostly a food shop, it has to be said. Anyway, that's my little look around Tesco's in Slovakia. Hope that has been of some interest to you, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.